everyone, and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today, when you guys are seeing it, it's going to be Thursday, March the 30th of 2023. I'm filming this on Monday, actually. Um, March the, what day is it? March the 27th. Anyway, I'm back with another day in the live vlog. Finally, I have missed doing these vlogs. It has been a while. Honestly, it's only been like three weeks, so is that really that long? Probably not, but when I came off of Vlogmas doing one a day or whatever, um, and then, you know, even in January, even February, we were doing like one a week, to now I haven't done one for three weeks. It's been a minute, but really I've just had so many couponing videos that there's really not been a slot for the vlogs. And this week there really wasn't a slot either, but I was like, you know what? We are making a slot. We are posting twice on one day because I just miss doing these vlogs. And there's a group of you guys, not the majority of you, but there is a group of you who I call the vlog fam and you guys love these vlogs. You love, like a lot of you guys are just here for the couponing, which I get. That's what the point of my channel is. But then there's others of you who just really have grown to enjoy my personality and see what's up in my life. And that's who I call the vlog fam because you guys are here for like all of it and y'all are awesome so i didn't want to let y'all down i wanted to come back with one of these and i really love them i've been going back and watching old vlogs from like 2021 2022 and i love it it's like looking back on an old journal or a scrapbook or whatever in video form and i love that i'm getting to share that with you and hopefully help brighten your day a little bit there is so much negativity and so much going on in the world that if we can just have a vlog that's upbeat and positive, then I hope that that helps brighten your day a little bit. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I really do want to come back to doing these more often because I love them. They're fun. Um, they really are. So I want to get back into doing them, even if I don't think it's the most interesting. A lot of you guys have said, you don't find this interesting, but I find this really interesting. So I need to just do it anyway because there's a lot of you who do enjoy them. But anyways, let's just get into today's vlog, and we're going to start out. If you've been with me for a while, you probably already know. We are going to talk about planners. <laughs> if you guys are around here much on vlogs, you know that I love my planner. I have to have a planner. I have to have a planner because if I don't have a planner, I like things fall through the cracks. I don't remember things. I need to have a plan. Um, I need to know what I'm doing for the day, for the week, for the month, whatever, I need to have it planned so I know what I'm like doing, <laughs> pretty much. So I have to have a planner. But the struggle, the hard thing for me is actually been finding one that's gonna work for me um, because I have so many different things I need to plan. Like for me, it's not just, oh, I just need this monthly calendar from Walmart and that's gonna like fit my needs. I have so many different things I'm keeping track of that I like struggle to find the perfect planner out there. And if you guys are familiar, I know some of you guys are planner people, you know the planner community on YouTube, and a lot of people go through the same thing. Like they have a hard time finding the, you know, the, the perfect planner that's gonna fit and like work best for their needs. Um, and so I've kind of been searching for that this year. Um, I started the year out in a Bujo bullet journal. If you guys haven't heard of that, basically a bullet journal is just a plain notebook. Um, you, people do the dot grid. That's the favorite. My favorite's actually this like graph paper grid. I really like this. Um, I got this notebook at Staples and it is a really nice notebook. And in theory, it could work. It just got really tedious because since it's a blank notebook, you kind of have to draw out all the spreads and do all that yourself. And I, I kept making mistakes and things like that. But I did give it a go. So I had my index, kind of like a table of contents. I had my future log where I kept track of like events that were going to happen during the year. And I actually still do use several of these things in my new system. And a really big thing that I did here was Christmas gift tracking, which I'm still, again, I'm still doing this. These are still things I need um, to do. So like the Christmas gifts I bought on clearance because if you guys, I mean, obviously if you're on this channel, you know I'm a couponer. And so I've been buying so many gifts on clearance. I need to keep track of the stuff I bought. So the collections or lists or whatever, they're actually called collections, but like the Christmas and the um, weight loss tracker and the future log, those are the things in the bullet journal I really liked. What wasn't working for me too well was the fact that my like day-to-day -day planning kind of lacked. I was pretty OCD about keeping everything in this notebook for the entire year, which I started in February. I was like, I want this to ride out through December. So I did not do daily pages. I did weekly pages instead. I'm like this. And I actually do need to map out my week, but I really have found that I need a day-to-day to-do -to -day to list just to, to function, to survive. So I tried a couple different things. I was like, okay, I need something a little bit more structured, but also that I can kind of like add to. And that is where this guy came in. This is actually a work plus life happy planner. 
I had never seen this particularly until it was on clearance this year. Hobby Lobby loves to mark down, like the new releases of planners came out a couple weeks ago. So they were marking all their planners down to dirt cheap. Like I got this whole planner for like $11.74, which is a really good deal. I really have always liked the concept of Happy Planner. I love the vertical like layout here with the three boxes. I really love that. I love, my favorite thing about it is that it's on discs, meaning I can easily add things in, take things out. See, you can literally uh, take things right out, which I just, man, I just love that so much. Plus when you have this punch, you can punch your own pages and it fits the discs in the planner. So I've always loved the concept of Happy Planner, but the only thing about Happy Planner that annoys me is that it was so feminine for years, like florals and all of that, they didn't have anything neutral. But they started making it more neutral this last year. I was like, I see you, Happy Planner. I really do. So I went back to the Happy Planner and I've been tweaking it and working on customizing it a little bit to fit my needs and I'm in love. Because of the discs, I literally have the customization to put anything I want in here, which I love. So I have a bunch of different um, sections. So I have a section for collections and lists, which is just like basic things that I want to remember. So like I have a Bible reading plan. I have a weight loss tracker trying to keep track of my weight loss. Um, also, I don't know if I have any other collections. I was going to like try a food list section. I've not come to that yet. Then I keep my budget in here, which I really, really, really love. I got my Christmas and gifts planner. Um, and that's where I keep track of all the gifts and things like that. I bought a printable on Etsy. I can show you this. Um, so yeah, I have this stocking stuffers and gifts. This also counts for like birthday gifts, Father's Day gifts. I just want to like highlight them or check them off or something once I like give them the gift. So I love that. And then comes the meat and potatoes, the main portion, and that is my calendar and schedule. So I use the Work Plus Life Happy Planner that I purchased, and I love this thing so much. So it comes with the future log insert, um, the Work Life Planner. So it has the future log, just like I was doing in the bullet journal, which I love. Then cue in the monthly spread. Voila. I recently picked up these little divider thingies at um, Hobby Lobby. And I love it. So there's this month, there's this week and notes. I love these things so much. It makes it so easy to find what I'm looking for because I plan that way. I got to start out with a monthly spread, have to have the month. Then there's the weekly spread, which I am using the weekly spread um, as a mind map kind of for the week. Okay. So here's everything I got going on. Um, you know, I use some stickers for like days off and things like that. Some boxes basically to cover up mistakes. Um, but you remember how I told you guys, I, I need the week to kind of like mind map. Okay. Here's what's going on this week, but I got to have a day to day to do list. I, I have to, like, I have to have that just to survive. And that's what I was really missing in my other system. I need a place to brain dump everything to track the food I'm eating and things like that. So I can stay on track with my weight loss. So I actually purchased these inserts from Etsy from a shop. It is called Roro. I bought them, I printed them, I cut them to size. You just, to fit it in this, you just scale it to 82% and it works. So I print them and cut them and I used my handy dandy happy planner punch to punch them in and it has been amazing. So I got a big to-do list here. I love this. It's kind of a dupe on the Franklin Covey, if you guys heard of that, um, that system. It's kind of a dupe on that. So basically got a daily to-do list. This is where I take the things from that weekly spread and I put them on the day plus other things that didn't go on the weekly spread. Things are subject to change. Like my daily habits, like, you know, kind of awkward, but I got to use Rogaine because I was starting to go bald. So Rogaine AM, Rogaine PM, my Bible reading for the day, grocery shopping, um, weigh-in, workout, just basic things. Put the case of pop in the fridge. Uh, guys, I have to write this stuff down or I, I don't, I'm not as productive. I need to write it down. Plus it helps motivate me. So I do my daily to-do list down here. This is just a note space. I turn this into a food tracker. So I track what foods I'm eating because I need to keep track of my calories and things like that, which this day was not the most successful because I got raising canes, but it was so good. And then over here, this is an hourly schedule. I actually, so I do my daily to-do list. And then when I'm looking at my to-do list, I like map out, okay, I could get this done now and map this out for 15 or 20, 30 minutes. I don't fill this out in advance. I used to do that. And then if anything changed, I would get all upset. 
but I now just will look at my to-do list and map things out by the time. So it has been amazing. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. It has been great. It's been working so well for me. I can plan monthly, weekly, daily. I can plan the Christmas um, gifts. I can plan for, you know, anything, basically. I can add anything in this notebook. And I love this thing so, so, so much. So I gotta have this thing to survive. I gotta have this thing to make it through the day. Now, first up, most importantly, I need Jesus. If I don't got Jesus in my day, then I'm not gonna get nothing right. But I need Jesus, and then I need this planner. And that's my, that's how I survive through the day. So anyway, guys, sorry for that long, uh, chit chat about my planner i thought some of you guys might find that interesting but uh this is where i'm at right now i don't know how long this will work for me but for right now i'm loving it and i really don't even know what more i would need i really don't so i love this thing mia do you want to say hi to the vlog yeah if you guys didn't know this is our new cat she literally showed up at our doorstep begging to get in and she got in and she is pretty spoiled but yeah we named her mia and she is, she is something. Why don't you want to be in the camera? Come on. Mia. She still doesn't know her name. So eventually, eventually we'll get it. Right, Mia? Right? I don't know. Okay, so she literally has this cat tower she could lay on. Also, she loves this chair, so we left this here for her. Where do you think she goes? She goes to my office chair. Like, seriously? Why would you do that? You're cute, though, so I'll allow it. <laughs> you're crazy all right so time to make a little walmart run for some groceries so we were just talking about the meal plan or whatever just kind of on the fly some weeks we're so good about meal planning other weeks it's just like it can get hard to come up with ideas monotonous but i think we're gonna try to use up most of the stuff we have at home a lot of the stuff we have at home so tonight we're gonna have um, grilled chicken and sweet potatoes and corn on the cob because my grandma got some corn on the cob and she gave it to us so that's going to be good tomorrow night we're going to have oh my gosh what are we having oh chicken salad sandwiches and french fries and cottage cheese wednesday my mom's going to make her amazing chicken noodle soup that's really good and then thursday we're going to do tacos and friday we're just going to figure out friday when we get closer to it but need some tomatoes so i'm actually gonna pick up two of them they're 250 a piece for the organic ones which actually works out to be about the same price as the um regular ones like a couple pennies more so i'm gonna get that okay so i'm gonna get this um diced mirapox or mirapox blend is how you pronounce it this is 288 and honestly i mean by the time you buy carrot celery and onion it's gonna be about 288 at least, and it's gonna be more than we need, and it'll just go to waste. So I'm just gonna get this for convenience. Plus, I'm gonna get some overage on some clearance lipstick to help make it cheaper. Little pro tip: always like look back in the lettuce because this is in the front. This um, Bright Farm Sunny Crunch, good through March 30th. But I went one back, and this is good till April 5th. So awesome! All right, so I want some buns for the chicken salad tomorrow, and I think great value is good. Honestly, I don't think hey, yeah, it has no high fructose corn syrup, and I don't think they taste bad. So I'm gonna get these. Remember these used to be like 88 cents. Now they're a dollar 38. Sheesh. So we got that free uh, cream cheese on Ibotta. Got me wanting some bagels, and then my mom said she wanted some bagels too. So these are the cheapest Schwabels for what is that? Two fifty-eight. That's actually pretty decent. So my family is actually really started to like these Gatsby chocolate bars, and so I'm glad. Glad we got overage to use on these, or not overage, but that rebate I got for all the referrals. You guys have been so nice and um, used my link to get the Gatsby. So this is 3D8 and there's a $5 rebate because of my referral credits. So I'm gonna actually make some money on this. That's gonna help pay for some of our other things. Man, throwback. This Simply 5 chocolate syrup, this is the one we always buy because it has its better ingredients. It used to be $2.97, now it's $4.34 goodness i'm gonna buy some tortilla strips i don't know if we need these but they're actually so much cheaper at walmart they're a dollar 60 i think kroger's 249 so i'm gonna get them here okay so normally i go with these buy drinks and i really do love them but we're gonna try to save some money this week i'm gonna go for vitamin water instead 638 for a six pack this is another thing that's gone way up but i love walmart's cottage cheese it's simply the best i don't know why but it's 258 just to taste better to me so i'm gonna grab this oh so you're probably like you guys are buying organic produce and then you want Little Debbie's? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> They're my guilty, uh, I love the seasonal ones. The seasonal ones, I only buy like seasonally. I don't tend to go for the regular ones. The seasonal ones just hit the spot different. 
Milk is something that has actually come down in price lately, which I'll take that because everything else has gone up. Um, so milk at Walmart is two sixty seven. But when you guys are seeing this on Thursday, the half gallons are going to be on sale at Kroger, and so it'll be like ten cents cheaper or something. So. Yeah, you might want to get it there instead, but this is Monday when I'm filming and we need it now. So gonna pick this up and again, checking the dates. They have April 12th and April 14th. They got April 10th. So you want to make sure you're getting that one with the best date. So stretch that milk farther. Ran to a little unexpected clearance find. Um, these great value tomato sauces are 68 cents. Pretty good. So we actually just ran out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, I got 10 of them. What's the date? October 2023. I'm just going to get eight of them. We had a better price on water today, but we just are starting to run out. I really stocked up on Kroger, had this on the Mega for $3.99, but we got to do it. So $5.36 for $40. Remember when Kool Aid used to be 15 cents a packet and now it's 30 cents? I mean, you guys, there's some of you who are probably like, you're so cheap, whining about 15 cents, but hey, that's doubled. That's doubled in price. That's pretty wild. Man, this makeup has just been a gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> so the L'Oreal lipstick over here is a dollar on clearance. I, I don't know why. I have no idea why they marked all this down to a dollar, but it's a dollar and I have $2 when I bought it. So it makes it free plus a $1 money maker. We're not gonna use the lipstick, but if it's making me money, I am totally, sorry, about to drop my phone. I'm totally gonna get it and apply that over towards our groceries. All right, so I think we're done at Walmart. Um, my mom got a few things. I got some groceries for the week. Um, as well, just for the family. So, okay, so this is our grocery haul for today. Um, kind of how we do it. Groceries is harder to coupon for, like personal care and household stuff. Like that's easy. Groceries, there's not as many deals. Sure, on some things like cereals and um, you know pasta and things like that. Snacky items, more of the processed stuff. It's easier to get deals on, but like produce and perishables and things, not so much. But there are other tips that we use to save on those things. Um, number one, oh thank God, because. My lipstick fell. My lipstick, that sounds so bad. My overage lipstick. I'm not wearing the lipstick. Um, it fell and that would have been tragic, but mom, mom saved the day. For groceries though, for the things that we can't coupon for, there's a couple tips we use. Number one is overage. Overage is huge. Like that lipstick that I don't want, it's making me $2. So why would I not get that and go towards fresh stuff and things we need? Also knowing your prices and comparing them. Do you wanna go to the one with the belt, that register? Um, sorry, I was deliberating on the fancy cash register that's open. I love this one. It has a belt on it and it's self-checkout. Um, but knowing your prices is really important. So like I know, okay, this is cheaper at Walmart versus Kroger. And that kind of, depending on what I need, that helps me to know which store is the best to go to. And today it just worked out to be Walmart. That's not always the case. Sometimes it's Kroger, sometimes it's Sam's Club, whatever. Um, for the, the most part, there was one or two things that Sam's Club might've had cheaper, but we didn't have time to go to two places today. So Walmart won. Um, so knowing your prices and then when sales come stocking up, so like bread, we're not going to need bread for several weeks. Cause I like really stocked up. Kroger had a sale for 99 cents this week. So I really was able to stock up. So when Wednesday comes around, a really good new sale comes, I can stock up on, I'll do that. Um, but for trips like this, when we just need things, those are kind of my tips. So find over to where you can and price compare because couponing is really hard on groceries. It's not always possible. Like the things that we have today, just there's not couponed items. So anyways, that is what we did. The Walmart app was wrong. The clearance on those tomato sauces was a quarter, literally a quarter for the organic tomato sauce. That was a deal. I so wish I would've got all 10 now, but whatever. Hopefully another person stumbles across it and gets the other two for a quarter each. It's an awesome price. Hey guys, back from the store and I just took the time to go ahead and put the transaction from Walmart in my budget. I thought I would take the opportunity to talk to you guys about how I'm changing up my budget. So if you guys have been around for a while, well not even changing up, I've already changed it and I am so happy I changed it. My budget was really complicated. I was doing, if you guys have been around for a while, you know, I had like 15 sinking funds a month and I had you know, oh my gosh, it was complicated. I had a bunch of different categories, groceries, eating out, 
blow money, gas, miscellaneous. I had so many categories. I was putting so much, like trying to put so much in each of these categories. It got to the point where it's got to be way too complicated. So as for sinking funds, I'm going to be real. I really am not doing sinking funds right now. Um, a lot of the things I was doing sinking funds for, I've just found easier to, okay, instead of setting back money every month for sinking funds, I'm just cash flowing them. So like I used to have a sinking fund for clothing and that just got to be redundant. If I need some clothing, I'll just work it into my budget each month. You know, I had a sinking fund for like, prescriptions and co-pays. Again, that is something I could just easily cash flow. So instead of doing the sinking funds, I've just given myself more money in my monthly budget plan and it's just worked out better. As for the, and I still do believe in savings. Like if anything crazy comes up, like if my car goes belly up and I need to pay a thousand dollars, I believe in savings totally for things like that. But those little things, I was like gifts, like I need to set back $10 a month so that when somebody's birthday comes around, I can give them a gift card. Like those are just little things I was doing sinking funds for, they added up so quick. So I've just given myself more money in my other category instead of doing the sinking funds, if that makes sense. But I still believe in savings. But as for those little categories, the week by week stuff like groceries, eating out, spending money, I have just gas. I've scaled way back. I don't need to have a category for each of those things. I was watching Jordan Page on YouTube and this kind of like clicked with me. She said that you really only need two categories for your weekly spending and that is grocery and other and that really like resonated with me that was such a good idea and i've tried it and loved it so i made these like little ledger things so i have um, my four weeks of the month budget groceries that's self-explanatory anything for groceries this also for me does include like um household things but as couponers that stuff really doesn't cost us that much so i have groceries and i have other others literally anything else gas eating out um, a doctor copay a prescription anything like that that's other so i give myself an amount each week um, and that's kind of what i do and i keep track of it here in the balance so like for groceries here's how i'm doing it um, i give myself okay i can spend 50 bucks this week on groceries and i just go down the line as a ledger my paypal rebates i keep track of it here too so like at target yesterday i spent 656 but I got back $1.28 in rebates. So that brings me now to $44.72 left. And this is easy because I can see, okay, here's how much rebate money I have on my PayPal and I can transfer that to my bank. It just works really, really, really well. And it's just simplified a lot because having all those categories just got to be a ton of stress because maybe one week I don't need gas, but I need more money for doctor copays or I need more money for some, you know, whatever. So it just is a lot easier now just with these two categories and I'm loving it. So guys, that is my budget. And I think now it is almost 530. So we got to get started on dinner. So we are going to go get started now on dinner. actually 8 37 p.m so it's been a hot minute since i've updated you guys but dinner was amazing that grilled chicken is actually from sam's club the members mark mesquite grilled chicken breast fillets so good it has such good flavor that flavor on that chicken it's already seasoned you just like either microwave it or air fry it or oven or whatever um it is so 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 good the sweet potatoes the microwave sweet potatoes they're awesome as well 
I mean, that corn, oh my gosh, I didn't have super high hopes since it's not technically in season, but um, it was really good as well. It had awesome flavor. So dinner was just awesome all the way around tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was a long one, but I'm going to be back with more of these because it's a lot of fun to just take you guys along. Anyway, um, I hope you guys did enjoy this, and thank you so, so much for watching. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow. Today is a good day to live. This morning I so clear a lot as any.